Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today, we're doing our How to Drink Whiskey. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please smash that like button for us. Drop some comments down below. And of course, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything we're going to bring to you. Uh, Matt, we're trying out this new cool thing today. What are we trying out? Yeah, we got one of the rabbit airs. Um, so added it to the bar down here so we could just have a nice, you know, cigar with our with our whiskey or whatever and seeing how it's all going to work out. We'll get a review out to you guys in a little bit once we sort of had some time to use it, sort of see how it all works. So definitely. Now let's get into talking about the video today. How do you drink whiskey? For all the people new getting into it, perfect video for you to start all right uh there's four main ways that yeah. you want to try to drink your whiskey uh number one is going to be neat so neat simply means it's just whiskey in a glass that's it most of the time you're going to use this is an official glencairn glass and you're going to use a style of glass now there's other styles that you can get the main point of it is to be rounder at the bottom, allows you to swirl, keep the fluid low. Tulip effect. Tulip effect, yeah. And that way all the aroma comes up and it brings it all together for your nose. So this way you're getting the nose and then you're getting it on your palate as well. Um, this is the official way that you want to drink whiskey if you want to taste all your notes. Now, just getting into it, it might not be the best method, but that's up to you to decide. But this is the way, if you're spending some good money on some good whiskeys, you want to see the flavor notes. You want to truly get what, what the nosing is on it. The Glencairn's going to be your best glass, and you're going to want to do it neat. Now, can you do it in a rocks glass? Absolutely. Can you do it in some of those other cool fancy glasses? Sure, you can do it in whatever the hell you want. It simply means it's just... The bourbon or whiskey in a glass. So the next method would be adding a couple drops of water. So a lot of master blenders will add a drop or two of water in, takes down the uh, the total proof of the liquor, and it also helps them open up the flavors a little bit more by doing that. It allows them to taste more of the subtle flavors that are in the whiskey. That way, if there's like a little subtle flavor that's not good or something that some people are going to pick up on that maybe others won't, um, by doing that, they can sort of open up the whole palate, really get dive down in there, figure it out, and um, you know get the full round set of tasting notes. Also, for some of your barrel proofs, if you know if it's just too hot for you, add a couple drops of water. It's going to change the flavor profile and it's going to make it more enjoyable, possibly for you, depending on what your palate is. Yep. And you, once you get into drinking, too, you'll learn kind of what your proof range is. Your proof range, Matt, you're pretty Barrel high. Proof. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a 110 and up. I'm still earning my big boy pants. I'm like a 100 to 110 type of person. Yeah. Every um, now and then, though, like right now, we're, we just got this uh, store pick Buffalo Trace. And you know what? It's not a high proof, but it is just sweet, good tasting, like easy. Drink. Sometimes you just don't want high, high, high yeah. proof. Like, every, every day is a different taste. Yep. All so, right. the next thing is going to be on the rocks. On the rocks. So, before everybody says, oh, you're just ruining it, blah, blah, blah. The optimum temperature whiskey was made to be drank at was 60 to 65 degrees. Now, right now, even in here, I, even with my central air on and stuff, it's not 60 degrees in here. You know what I mean? And nobody's house is. It's probably, everybody's house is probably 70s to 80s. If you don't have air conditioning and you got a little bar cart or a little, you know, hutch, I, I bet you're getting up to maybe even 90 degrees in there. Is it sitting in the sun when it's upstairs? Yep. And it's not, you know, we have the basement bar going on down here, you know, so that affects it as well. So by changing the temperature, you change the flavor profile. And the, the colder you get, the you are going to shut down. So if you put it in the freezer, you're going to shut down that flavor profile. So you don't want to do something like that. This isn't vodka where you just throw it in there, have it you know, super chilled and get, you know, good to go. You really want to taste most of it. So you can do small ice cubes out of your fridge or freezer. You can do these nice large ice cubes. The smaller the ice cube, you're going to have more surface area in the total glass. 
You're going to get the watering down effect a lot they, faster. They melt a lot faster. So they you'll do. notice it as you're, if you're trying to sit outside and enjoy it on a warm day. You know, and you're sitting there sipping it, you're going to notice the ice is going to disappear really, really quick. That's why we prefer the nice giant blocks of ice. It doesn't really water, it chills it without really watering it down yeah, too, much. too much. It does water it a little bit. Yeah. But it's not, by the time we drink it, it's really not that much. No. And I do have to say, you know, come summertime, right now it's summertime. If we're sitting outside, it's, you know, 80 something degrees out there today. Do I want to sit and drink a warm drink or do I want to drink something that's cool and refreshing? I'm going to want to go cool and refreshing. Yeah. So, um, you know, you don't have to drink it the same way every time. You drink it to what makes you comfortable, what makes you happy. So today is definitely on the rocks day. Yeah, and, and the other thing is, is you can get actual these, you know, whiskey stones. Um, and by doing whiskey stones, you're going to, um, you're going to chill it down to that optimum temperature without no water. diluting it. So if you really want to stay hardcore and pure to it, buy some stones. These little stones you throw in the freezer. Within like four hours, you're usually good to go to throw them into here. It's not going to dilute it down. You don't have to do stones too. We have, I have like the stainless steel bullets, you know, just somebody got me as a gift or whatever. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do, you can add to it that they make out there on Amazon or wherever else for this type of stuff. Um, but the stones are another great thing. Like I, I have stones because I do use stones sometimes. Yeah. You know, it depends on what I'm drinking. If I'm drinking something very high quality, um, like, you know, cigar blend or stag or something. I want to get everything out of that bottle. I'm going to go with this route so I get no dilution. I just try to bring that temperature down from the 70s or something. Yeah, it's pretty down, down to that, like, 60 range. Yeah, definitely. Um, and another thing to think of, too, when you're doing something on the rocks, now you don't have to use distilled water or bottled water or anything like that, but if you do have poor tap water and that's what you're using, that flavor from that tap water as it dilutes will work its way into the whiskey a little bit so it you know some, some places don't have the best tap water and in that case you might want to use a bottle but you don't you don't have to use bottled water or anything you don't have to buy the clear ice special things or any any of that other stuff um, so and then the next way fourth and final way pretty much is, is mixing it. it that's the way most people kind of get into it yep in the first place um, mixing it changes so much stuff because one you're changing the flavor profile obviously with whatever you're mixing it with uh, but you're also knocking down that proof quite a bit so generally you know the higher higher proof stuff if you have a hard time drinking it neat uh, or on the rocks you make it a mixer and you're gonna knock it knock that proof down quite a bit because you're diluting it and that's a fine way if you want to do it I mean mix away we mix we use mixers all the time yep and and I'll mix. I, I mean, I even cook with this stuff. You know, I'll, I'll cook with bourbon just because you you do add some flavor into it. Yep. And it, it is good. It's delicious. Like bourbon has so much purpose out there um, that you know just find what works for you really well. When I started into this, I tried it neat. It was just too much for me. I ended up throwing it on two or three you know two or three fingers on a couple cubes. I was found my happy spot, and I've been hooked for oh, what 21 years now. So it's been damn, you're getting old, son. I know, right? Uh, it's been a great path, though. You know what I mean? It it, it made me find that little um, area of like something that I like and could handle drinking regularly. I couldn't do it neat to start with, and I do now. Yep. I'll I'm, do it all the time neat now. I'm the same way. You tried getting me neat in the beginning, and, and I didn't like it at all. And then we tossed it on a big chunk of ice, and it was great. Now I want to get those tasty notes out of it because now I'm, I'm definitely, you know, falling in love with it more. And you yeah, definitely the journey, like the journey that it yeah. takes you on each bottle is so different nowadays that that's really what you sort of you're drinking it for that enjoyment. Yep. Um, whereas obviously when you're young, you're drinking it to just get drunk. You know, we're drinking it for enjoyment, you know, pairing it, find something good that you want to pair it with. Like it's so great to go sit by a fire, have a cigar, have a drink, find something that really works good together and, you know, just sit back and relax and enjoy. Like that's what whiskey is all about. It's about the journey it takes you with, the people it takes you with. It is just great. And the, the right way to drink whiskey is whatever way you like to drink it. That should be that should be the finale. The, the final thought is, what is the best way to or drink right your whiskey? Way. Or the right way. What's the right way, Matt? The way that you like it. 
that, so you like it on the rocks, drink it on the rocks. If you're gonna spend however much, say you want to go out and you want to spend two hundred fifty dollars on a bottle, then you drink it however the hell you want to drink it. That makes that two hundred fifty dollars enjoyable for you. Yep. Uh, if you want to spend thirty dollars on a bottle, you make that thirty dollars enjoyable for you. So that's all that really matters. You can tell everybody else to go screw off. Yeah. So. We hope you guys liked our little video on how to drink whiskey. We hope you guys follow us along for all the other man shit that we're going to be bringing you. And we hope you guys all have a good day.